sorority houses, luxurious accommodation that adorn our college campuses. From the outside, a haven for deserving young co-eds. But from the inside, a concentration camp of horrors beyond imagination. Join us now in this in-depth look at the greatest problem facing higher education in the United States today. The horrors of sorority hazing. The Sigma Lambda Upsilon Theta Sorority, known and respected for its unbiased selection and bidding practices. A gross misconception. Watch as our hidden cameras reveal their rush selection committee, deciding which naive young ladies they will present bids to. Okay, this is Mindy Howell. What did you get on her in the background investigation, Katie? Let's see. Well, she didn't quite make the minimum parental income, but she was a debutante in River Oaks, and her uncle is on the board of directors at Mary Kay. Hmm. Wasn't she a bit too friendly at the mixer yesterday with Todd? Oh, Kelly, you're so paranoid. You think everyone is after your precious little <laughs> job. I wouldn't sleep with him if you paid me. I heard he's on like a horse. Why? <laughs> okay, okay, who's next? I saw her at the party. Kid. Wait a minute, let's get a all. magnification. That's not a real problem. Oh my god. my god. 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 Yeah. Oh my god. Next. Okay, this is Susanna Rosenberg. Oh, no. Next. Next. Oh my god. What do you want, Candy? <laughs> So drunk. Brandon's not in here, Cammy. Oh, sorry. Who is Brandon? <laughs> okay, where were we? This is Cindy Birdwell. Katie? The only problem is that her BMW is a leased car. But on the plus side, she does have access to a condo on Padre Island, Ooh. which could be very convenient come spring break, don't you yeah. think? Hey. Oh, Put her on the wait list. Next girl. Okay, this is Jackie Rivers. We couldn't find anything on a Jackie Rivers, so we checked out her home address, which just happens to belong to a Rivera family. Then we dug up her high school yearbook, and sure enough, our Jackie Rivers is actually Maria Rivera. No. No. Not a pretty sight. But worse still is the psychological scars left on the unsuspecting girls who accept the bids to pledge. The members of the 1984 Sigma Lambda Upsilon Theta Pledge class. One of the members, we'll call her Catherine, broke under the inhumane treatment she received as a pledge. She is presently under constant therapy at the Shady Glen Center for Social Reconditioning. Listen as she gives a recount of a few of the atrocities that she was forced to endure during her pledgeship. We warn you that this subject matter may not be appropriate for all viewers. At first, things weren't so major. Like one morning, my alarm didn't go off until 7. I know I set it for 5.30. I mean, I have a 10 o'clock on Wednesday. My morning was already going down the tubes. And then I opened the cabinet to get my hair dryer, and it was gone. I ended up not going to any of my classes that day. I just can't handle pressure like that. I was doing my best to deal with things like that until that one Friday morning. They got us up early and dragged us off with no makeup or anything. We were driving along when we turned into this parking lot. I thought for sure they had made a wrong turn, but we kept getting closer and closer to it. Finally, I realized that this was no mistake. They were going to make us go in. They made us put on hideous polyester clothes and those tacky jelly bean sandals, and none of it even matched. Then they made us pay for it all ourselves. Worst of all, they made us wear it out in public. Then they took us to a bus stop and made us get out. Katie glared at me and said not to even think of calling anyone to come get us. She said they'd be watching us. I got on and started toward the back and then I saw him, that hot guy from my art history class, the one who wanted to borrow my notes that time. He turned his head like he hadn't seen me, but I know he must have 
I mean, my God, I was dressed up like a trailer park. I just wanted to scream out, this isn't me. I drive a BMW. We made it back to campus, but I knew I could never return to that house. I did the only thing I could do, call Daddy. They say I'll be able to leave soon, but I know I'll never be able to go back to college. As one can see, the horror is quite real. The effects of sorority hazing are anything but trivial. Catherine was one of the lucky ones. One day, she will be fully recovered. But others aren't always so fortunate. I'm so drunk. 